welcome to today's vlog. I am just sun tanning at camp with my Aunt Bev. We're Hi. just we're just sun tanning away. My arms are really dark, but my legs are like pale like a vampire. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't really use oil when I sun tan. I remember one time at our old camp. It was when my tattoo was in the healing stages. And I like I'll insert a picture if I can. I was like red as a tomato, you guys. Because I flat out refused to put sunscreen on. And everyone's like, you should wear sunscreen. You're going to burn. And I'm like, nah, no, I'm not. Yeah, I cooked. My aunt's like, you cooked your chest. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Note, always wear sunscreen, kids. Always wear sunscreen. Because if you don't, you're going to look like a tomato. A burnt tomato. Yeah, so we're just here relaxing, sun tanning little bit the kiddos went up with my grandma a little bit to go back up to go back up to camp i think my younger cousin who's like two and a half i think she went to go find some rocks she was throwing some rocks obviously we don't want to throw rocks rocks when there's people around but when there's nobody around we let her throw rocks but i think she's gonna go find a rock to paint i'm not really too sure but yeah so we're just out here sun tanning and if you haven't seen my last video, I'll try and link it up here or down below for you guys to go and watch. But yeah, just at camp for the day. I wish we were staying the night. I haven't stayed at our new place yet, so maybe one day when I have another day off. So yeah, we're just going to continue sun tanning and I will see you guys in a bit. with my family but I ended up turning around because I didn't bring the proper hiking shoes I ended up bringing my sandals so I had to turn around everyone else was smart enough to bring hiking shoes except for me oh well next time I will so I'm just going for a little walk it is so sunny and beautiful out here you guys and so peaceful I just love it out here at camp. Ouch. Almost stepped on a stick. That nah, wouldn't, wouldn't have been good. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. Excuse me. Afternoon or night whenever you're watching this video. And so, yeah. I'm going to head back to camp and I will see you guys there. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little river down there that we were swinging earlier and over here is my camp this is a totally different style of camping 
we're allowed to have one trailer, one dining tent, and one sleeping tent out here, but like, it's so beautiful out there. And then down over there, there's stairs that lead to the river down there. It is so beautiful out here, you guys. I just love it. So I made it back to camp. Looks like I beat everyone else here. So, yeah. So nice to hear there's a little volleyball net over there. That camp over here. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. It's not too hot today like it has been for the past few days. It's really nice out. So beautiful. So this is my camp, you guys. This is well, the sleeping loft. And over here is a little couch you can sleep on. It's very small in here, but it's really cozy. I haven't stayed the night at camp yet, but hopefully one of these days. So, sleeping loft. I think two people can sleep up here. And then bathrooms in there little mirror and yeah so this is my camp and I think this can turn into a futon not really too sure but yeah the people that we bought this from the wife actually made these she sewed them so they look really nice and I think she made the curtains too not really too sure but the curtains are really pretty hey guys so i am back home from camp i had a really fun day at camp i went swimming i went hiking with my family even though i didn't really continue on with the hike with them because i didn't have hiking shoes i ended up wearing my sandals that i got at softmock i'll try and link the sandals i got at softmock if i try and remember for you guys to go and check out they're kind of like Birkenstocks but they're the soft mock brand they're not the Birkenstocks brand if that makes any sense anyway so everyone else came prepared wearing hiking hiking shoes except me oh well maybe next time I'll bring my hiking shoes well actually I need to get new hiking shoes the shoes that I wear to work, they're Dr. Scholl's. They're the non-slip work shoes. And they're in the color black. They're like my favorite shoe to wear at work. And when I worked at the uh, a and in the food court here where I live. And the one on Memorial, I think it was. I would wear those to work. And they were my favorite shoe. They have the Dr. Scholl's thing inside the shoes. And they're really comfy. And now that I work in an assisted living home, I wear those shoes almost every day. And I've worn them out almost. So, it's time to get new shoes. I was going to get new shoes last Friday when I went shopping to get my grandma an air fryer. Well, actually, sorry, let me rephrase that. I went to surprise her with an air fryer. So long story short, my grandma ended up giving her air fryer away to my great aunt to give it a try. And I accidentally left, well, I accidentally left my air fryer at my ex's thinking he would give it back. But unfortunately, he didn't. I have no clue what he did with it. I'm not going to go into full on detail. But anyways, I ended up getting a new air fryer at Walmart. But when I went to Walmart last Friday, you guys, oh my god. It was a zoo. Like, the lineup where you go to get checked out by the cashiers, it was to the bathrooms, which are in the back of the building. That's how insane the lineup was. And then the lineup for self-checkout self was insane, too. Then a line was starting to form outside, and the parking lot was, like zoo I was very lucky to find a parking spot and they didn't have too many air fryers left so I ended up getting a Hamilton Beach I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see so I ended up surprising her with a new air fryer for the household and she was very surprised and very happy 
So, yeah, I love our air fryer. So from their air fryer, you know, air fryer, I have tried cooking chicken strips. I've cooked french fries. I've cooked sausages. I've cooked, what else have I tried? Oh, I've reheated pizza in the air fryer. I tell you guys, when you reheat pizza in the air fryer, it tastes just like you bought. Like you just, yeah, taste, not taste, oh my God. Taste like you just bought it. It's like... The, I love my air fryer. If you guys have an air fryer, what kind of things have you guys tried? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't have an air fryer, would you like to try one? And if so, what would you like to try in the air fryer if you ever got one? So, yeah, I love the air fryer. It's a lot healthier for you. And I don't use any oil when I cook in the air fryer. I, I love it. And one time my grandma cooked, I think, a roast in the air fryer, and it turned out really good. It was really delicious. It doesn't use any, well, I'm just trying to find the word here. It, it doesn't make your house hot when you use the air fryer. And I love it. I love my air fryer. I love our air fryer that I bought. But yeah, camp was really good today. I had a lot of fun with my family. My little cousin, oh my gosh, she is so cute. She's two and a half. She calls me Nanny. Oh, she is just so cute. She talks in full sentences. Last time we were at camp, she saw a lady go swimming in the river. And she's like, I want to go swimming just like the lady did. Oh, she is just too adorable. She was climbing a tree before we laughed like a monkey and I said to her you're a monkey and then she said yeah I am a monkey oh she's so cute I love her to bits but yeah if you guys haven't seen my last vlog I'll link it down below for you guys to go and watch it was go yeah it was going to camp so and then after I ended the last vlog you guys saw, I started this vlog at camp. So the last clip you saw was a tour of my new camp. I haven't stayed at my new camp yet. Hopefully one of these days when I have my next day off, maybe we will. I don't know. I hope so. That'd be really nice. I love our new camp. It's so like it gives off like a peaceful vibe from it like it's just so relaxing out there like I love going to camp out of the all three camps that we that my grandma has had I think I like this one the best it takes like not even maybe like roughly 17 minutes to get out there like it's basically easy driving there's no dirt roads or anything like that it's really good like I love our new camp but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go and relax for the rest of the, night, of the night. Tomorrow, I'm going grocery shopping with my aunt, who you guys saw in my last vlog, and my little cousin, who's two and a half, and my grandma. So that's what I've got going on for tomorrow. And yeah, so I'm going to go relax for the rest of the night. I might watch them once at a time. And my last vlog, I said, if you guys have any recommendations for any tv shows that i should check out let me know in the comments down below i am open to watching new shows so if you guys have a show i should watch leave, let me, leave it in the comments for me and i'll go and check it out so yeah i'm gonna go probably watch them once upon a time and i will see you guys in a little bit hey guys so it is a couple of days later Sorry, I haven't recorded much after the last clip that you guys saw. Um, I ended up going to bed or going to bed right after we got back from camp, and then the next day I was planning on recording, but then I forgot. And then today, which is now Saturday, I had to go to work. So, and then. Last night, I was going to record, but it was so late by the time I got home, you guys. I went out last night with my friends Kyle and Carly. 
we had the best night ever, you guys. Me and my friend Kyle, we went and got ice cream, and then our, we saw ended up bumping into our friend Carly. And then the three of us, we were, what did we do? We ended up going to Tim Hortons. I tried the new summer drink. They have two. I think there's a strawberry one and there was a peach one. I tried the peach one. It's really good. And then after that, we were going to go to Boston Pizza for some appetizers. But when we got there, you guys, it was like the parking lot wasn't so bad, right? But when we got up to be seated or whatever, the girl's like, oh, just letting you guys know, our patio closes at 930, but we're open till 11. And it was like 9 o'clock, and I thought, well, that's kind of weird of you. So, I knew we ended up leaving, and then we ended up going to my friend Kyle's work instead. And then, yeah, we ended up staying at his work till like almost 11 at night. And then we ended up going around town trying to find gas because I needed gas for my car. And it was a very interesting time trying to find gas. Because all the gas stations I wanted to go to were all closed. And I thought, that's weird. I thought gas stations here were open like 24 hours where I live. But I guess not. And so then I ended up finding a gas station that was open 24 hours. And on the way to there, I ended up slamming on my brakes because this person was going into the middle of the road and they were like flapping their arms like a bird and I don't know if the person was drunk or just being silly I don't know but it was a very interesting night but overall I had so much fun with my friends it was a lot of fun and then tomorrow I go to my grandparents house for their 50th wedding anniversary dinner. My dad's parents celebrated 50 years of marriage. I think it was on Wednesday. And we didn't have dinner on Wednesday because everyone was busy. So Sunday, which is normally family day dinner anyway, we decided to do it then. So that's the plan. And originally, oh, excuse me, for my dad's parents' wedding anniversary gift, I was originally going to get them a card, but then I had a total brain light bulb moment in my total, yeah, a total light bulb went ding in my head yesterday when I was at Walmart, and I remembered that a couple, I think it was like two or three years ago, that when my dad's sister and her husband and their two kids came to visit from Prince Edward Island, we ended up getting a photo of me and my six cousins with her grandparents. And that is like my dad's mother's absolute favorite photo of us. Because it's her, my dad's father, and the six, no, sorry, not six, seven granddaughters. No boys. On my father's side, there are all girls. You would think there would have been a boy somewhere in between there, but... No, it was all girls, seven girls. So I decided to get that picture enlarged, make it big, get it blown off. So I went into the photo department at Walmart and I printed it out by eight by 10. Then I found a really cute photo frame that was marked down for like $7, originally $14. So I think I think that's a really nice anniversary gift. I think that's a lot better than getting scratch tickets, I think. But, yeah. So, oh, and then also last night I went to the LCBO to get some coolers. They, my favorite coolers are the Palm Bays. And my favorite flavor is the strawberry pineapple. I got, I got my other favorite key lime cherry. I got a couple of those. And then I got some strawberry banana because I remember one time I was at work I was looking through the LCBO flyer and I found that Palm Bay had a new flavor and it was strawberry banana but it was a limited time flavor I know my friend Carly tried it but I haven't tried it yet so hmm I might have to try that soon so 
yeah, that's how my couple day, past couple days have been. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.